Okay, that's the flares done for this year. So what I've done basically, if we went the other day, we went over the flares, looking at the dates on them, and there was a couple that are out of date, so we replaced those this year. So all the flares are up to date, and we just got box loads of out of date ones. But as you can see, they're kept sealed, and they're as good as the day that we bought them. And they probably, well, guarantee you they would 99% would all fire without any problem, even out of date. I mean, I fired something 1979, only one ever failed. And a friend took a load that I had, um, old ones that I had, which had been lying in a boat for three years in water, and then, an old boat that was, and then they got put in, in the garden for God knows how many years in a container. And then he said, oh, can I take those? So I said, yeah, sure, take them if you want. But I explained that they'd never work or anything like that. He took them and apparently set the whole lot off apart from one. He, he tested them all when it was firework night and he reckoned everyone fired apart from one, which the string broke on it. So there you go. And even though they've only got a four year date on them, I think if you look after these things, um, they're fine. But anyway, we've got up to date flares. So um, we'll have to take those down the police station, I suppose, is where you take them, or the fire station. <clears throat> and <clears throat> we've also picked up some new bobbers or boys now these are from norway these ones and or made in norway and they are really good but i suppose up in norway you've got, you've got to have a good set of boys in those oceans because they get some serious weather up there but they do look really really good i've just got to um put the boat registration on and um <clears throat> yeah some other identification and that so you know they're mine and then we bought these. Now these are just a secondary little bobber, and also in the when you're really close in, I thought we could try and use these. Now I have tested with a spray can, so I can spray them a different colour, like bright orange, because the trouble with yellow is sometimes in the sunlight they're hard to see. So I'm going to spray them, and I've tested them already, so they don't dissolve with the spray, so I know that already. And I might put, even put a ferrule in so it doesn't wear the bobber too much. But this is really hard foam-like. I just want to see how they, uh, how good they are if they're usable out there. They'll be fine in the bay. It's just, oh, I'm going to try them on further out and see what happens. So there's that. And then finally, we picked up the trailer, or Rebecca picked it up. Trailer, uh, trailer, what am I about? Tow bar. The tow bar. I'm thinking about trailers, you see. Uh, which came from the UK, which you can see is pretty hefty. It's got huge, great plates that have got to go on the side. Total weight of this is 24 kilos. Not including this, because I think this makes it even heavier, because we got an upgraded one of these. Now... We got it over from the UK because we had a, a quote here and for the price of the quote that we were given here, you could book yourself a two way ticket on a ferry, go and pick up the, uh, buy, a to buy this in the UK with VAT, come back on the ferry and you still save yourself 130 quid. So that's the kind of price things are around here. So, yeah, it wasn't any of that. I'd be daft to buy it at that price. But anyway, we uh, got hold of one, and I also got an upgraded tow bar instead of getting the, just a standard ball, because I wanted to get the pin, you see, because on the trailer, on the dinghy trailer, we've got the, the ball hitch, but because it's always on the beach, it's obviously always dipping in the sand, and it's near the salt water all the time, or touching salt water, so it gets grimy and dirty and corroded and all that, and I decided to get rid of the ball, and go straight for this. The other thing is, is having it here, when it's here, it makes the tra trailer tilt like this, so the back is down, which you don't really want when you're going over stones and rocks, which might catch the back of the dinghy. It doesn't quite go that far down, but it could do, because I put a block of wood between the hitch on the dinghy just to level it out a bit, but having it lower now, it'll keep it nice and sort of straight. On top of that, it'd be much easier just to drop a pin in, and I don't have to worry about all the grit and dirt getting around the ball or the, the, it's seizing up having to snap it on but that's only for the dinghy the dinghy only goes up and down the beach pretty much when it comes to the big boat that'll always use this one and of course i've got to put, put on a piece of cable or chain uh, on this as well so that i can attach it to the trailer as well as a secondary safety measure in case the hitch ever came off or anything went wrong it's still attached to the car but like i say, that's only when i'm out on the roads and stuff when we're on the beach We'll just use the pin system. You got that, and you just lock it in with one of these. So, job done like that. So, that'll be much easier. It'd be easier to maintain it as well, just being a ring there. Right, well, today's video. Today's video is just general fishing, basically. We went out, it was at the end of last year again, because we are using up the footage we 
have, because as you can see, we're getting stuff ready to go down. We're not in the water yet. And it was a fishing trip out and where we caught lots of bream. We caught some big bream this day. Some of the, well, the biggest of the year we caught on this day, I believe. Uh, we had a, other species at the same time, but um, it's surprising how many bream are turning up around where we are these days. It's the waters are getting warmer and we're getting a big invasion of different types of bream now. You know, a lot of the other fish are sort of vanishing and bream and things are taking over. Next thing we'll have whatever else comes up from the Mediterranean. I don't know, different species. So anyway, let's get out in that boat and uh, catch those fish. Ooh. She says challenge is on. Here she goes. These are brave ones to let I really do need to see where to drop them. Uh, I'll drop a line. I might even take those in. Looked a bit pollocky the way that dived down, but I'm going to say bream again. Oh, it's bream. And so is the one taking my line. I'm going to Wow. Oh, I got two fish. Look at the two I got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Look at that for a fish selection. Caught cuckoo and a baby bream. Gonna put that down so I can get the baby one back in. The cuckoo will stay because it's blown too deep. Little bream. There we go. There goes that one. That one we keep because it's big. And the cuckoo we'll have to keep because he's uh pressure's got to him. Plus that is a hefty old cuckoo rest. Two. Two fishies. Two fishies. Two fishies, plus the two fishies we just had. This is what it's like. I'm going to put that one back there because it's, it's a decent enough bream, but when you're getting them this big, there we go. And the smaller one, keep the bigger. Why this? They seem, they seem to be smaller. The further back we come, I'm getting bites, but I can't look at them. See, I think they're very small, grabbing on. Hey. Oh, I've got a pollock. See, my baits are getting rather small there. Almost like a shiny hook. Alright, <laughs> let's get back up. What up our ass in town? Probably gonna come do nets or something. Ooh. Looks like a beamer. A beam bream. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. She looks like she's into a, a something quite large. Gonna say it's a bream or a big pollock, eh? Double look up. She's not happy with just the one. She's got to get the two or the three. Uh, it's a single one. It's a beam up. That is, yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, lovely job. That's the size you want. A couple of pounders at least. Do you want to hold it up or do you want to just say 
Oh, yeah. They're a job to hold. They are. They're squiggly little wiggly little things. There you go. Picture. It's, unfortunately, it doesn't give scale when it's like that. It's just a bream on the floor. <laughs> well, okay, I'll put my boot next to it. There you go, look. It's bigger than my boot. Quite a bit bigger than my boot. No. There's your scale for you. And I got size 10 boots on. I need to have a look at this. This is a double shot. It is. One, and there's a big one on the bottom. There you go. It's in. Two bream. Right, I'm going to put my rod down. Uh, rod, camera down. When it's like this, it's got a fish. Couple more. Nice big one. Not a bad one over there as well. Uh, a little one, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, a little one. Doo -doo -doo. Little baby one. When I say babby, I mean, there's still. If you were going to take bream, you could take a bream that big easily and eat it. And it's legal as well, so. But today he goes free. Oh, 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 there she goes. Now she's going to get a. So just at that moment, the battery went uh, dead. And Re Rebecca had a, a, a small bass and a bream on the hooks. And I've just hooked two but small bass. I'm going to put it all back now, but. Typical, like I say, the battery goes off just as it well, goes flat, just as we st Rebecca started hauling them in. Or well, one in. Right, let's, let's chuck them back. Well, I was hand lining it up, I didn't want to be down there. And that's a nice one. Just had to hand line it though because we got lines crossed over, so Rebecca's just sorting it now. That full blown beam. Wait on that one. I'll let my line drop down. I'll do the old boots thing. Boots at the back, there you go, that's how big that one is. Boots. Fish is still a bit past the boot at the back as well, so. Big green, that one. Big. Feels a bit longer than you get. Green, 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 green. So you get one? I get one. All right. The man's going to be bigger than yours. That's what you're thinking. And I think you're right. <laughs> One's not bad. And here comes the monster. There it is. It's a nice one. It's a nice beam again. She got this time. So we had a bit of a break, went up and did a bit of bassing. Didn't catch anything, so we came back and now we're fishing again. Resume the bream fishing, the bream fishing or whatever else is down there. Oh, that was a fight. Oh, it's looking good, it's looking good. Yeah, that one's alright. That one is alright, and I'm just getting fights myself, so back to going to the older.
Look at that, there's two on three on there. Three fish. Get that top one in, that's the biggest. Wow, and the third one as well. She went for the triple. triple. Look at it go. Bottom one can go back though. Top one can stay. <laughs> Middle one probably can stay as well. Yeah, nice, nice. Nice, nice. Lovely fish. Nice one. Oh, I'm getting bites as well. Holding the camera, but I've got a heavy bite now. No, it looks like two. One's off, it's only little. Yeah, he's a go-backer, that one. I put a backer, that one. There he goes. Then he's off. Sure. 